Hey, so do you ever play games like Horizon Forbidden West or Breath of the Wild and think, God damn, those are some nice legs. Yeah, me neither, but I did notice Link's legs doing something none of mine had ever done before in Godot. They adapt to the slope that Link is standing on, which is pretty cool. This is called Inverse Kinematics, and I'm going to try and show you how to get this set up in Godot so you two can have lanky legs like Link. First things first, you're going to want a player. I'm assuming you have a mesh uh, with a skeleton and some animations already. I have this robot guy with some animations that I downloaded from Adobe Mixamo. I am also not going to go over any character controller or other animation stuff here. There are some great tutorials about animation trees and blending and character controllers and whatever else that I use here, but we're just going to go over some IK legs. Okay, so when you have a character with the animations imported into the editor, we can get started. Godot actually has built-in functions and nodes for IK, so we're going to be using them. On your skeleton, we can go ahead and add the skeleton IK node for each leg, and assign the root bone as your upper leg or thigh bone, and the tip bones as the foot or toe bones. This won't do anything by itself, as the skeleton IK node has no target. So add two position 3D nodes and name them target left and target right, and then assign these as the targets in the skeleton IK nodes. Also, make sure to turn on the use magnet option and give it some attraction on the forward axis so you'll need bends the right way. That's all for setting up the IK node, but as you can see when we run this, the foot is a bit twisted up, so to fix this, just rotate the target nodes until it looks right. So now we have IK working on our legs, but nothing's going to happen when we run the game. Because we're not telling the game where the ground is below each foot, or to update the target's location appropriately. To sort this out, we're going to need to do a bit more work, I'm afraid. I'm going to add a few new nodes here, firstly a raycast for each leg which will check if the player is near the ground and where the ground is relative to the player. I'm also going to add two new position 3D nodes called no raycast pods left and right which will be used as the target when the raycast isn't colliding with the ground. As well as this, I'm just going to add two position 3D nodes called interpolation left and interpolation right, and the Y position of this will control the interpolation, which is a value on the skeleton IK nodes that control how much of an effect the IK has on each leg. I'll explain why I'm using a position 3D instead of directly changing these values, and why we need to change these values at all later. So now for some coding. I've attached a script to my root node of my model. Uh, the first step is to assign some variables, such as our minimum and maximum interpolation values, the foot height offset, which is just how tall the foot is roughly, and a variable for each of the nodes we have added, target left, target right, raycast left, raycast right, IK right, IK left, no raycast pause left, and no raycast pause are. Jesus, I don't envy people who have to explain their code on a daily basis. We also need to start the IK simulation, which I will do in the ready function. Uh, now I just created the function that will update the IK target positions. I'm going to call it update IK target position. This function is going to need the target raycast, no raycast position, and foot height offset. In the function, uh, we're going to check if the raycast is colliding. If it is, we will find where it's colliding on the y-axis and assign that as a new variable called the hit position. We then just set the target's y position to be the same as the hit position, essentially making it so the target is going to be exactly where the ground level is. If the raycast isn't colliding, then we'll just set the target's position to the no raycast position. 
Now in the physics process we can run this function for each foot and assign the relevant variables. Let's see what happens when we run this now. We can see that this works, the legs are adjusting to the ground height and slope, but there is a slight problem. They all but completely override the animation and the feet just slide across the floor. It's not the effect we want. That's where our interpolation values come in. We need to animate the interpolation node's Y location to fit when we want the IK to be turned on. So we need to do this for each animation. I'm just doing this using the Bezier curves in the animator. The interpolation value is set to 1 where the foot is touching the ground in the animation and 0 when it's in the air with a small transition period. I've also animated the target's Z position to roughly line up with the foot at all points, just so that the IK will always fit with the animation. The reason we use the position 3D instead of directly animating the interpolation value is that when you may later want to be blending animations, the positions blend smoothly compared to the set value which won't blend at all. And not to forget we do need to just add these two lines of code to our script which will just set the interpolation value uh, based off of the Y value of our interpolation position. This whole tutorial is such a mouthful, jeez. Once you've finished updating your animations, then the IK legs are done. Here you can see my test model running. Uh, the code and concept is really easily reusable in other projects and hopefully you've learned something new about Godot. This whole tutorial is essentially just building on Wojtek Pez's tutorial on the exact same thing but I've tried to go over a bit more depth because after watching that one, it took me a good week to actually understand what was going on. I still don't really know what this function that they use does, but mine works fine without it. So there you have it. You too can now reach new levels of immersion. Watch as the crowds gasp at your legs adjusting correctly to the terrain. You can proudly proclaim that yes, Godot is an amazing engine, and yes, you should subscribe to Leon Stansfield. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do get stuck or I forgot something, just leave a comment. The source code is in the description. Goodbye. Edit at Leon here. I just thought I'd give 30 seconds to just do an update of what I'm actually working on. Uh, I finished that horror game I made a video about, but... I don't think it's good enough to publish, so I'm going to sit on that for a few months and, and maybe come back to it later. I'm a bit, bit fed up with working on that one. As well as that, I entered the Bullet Hell Game Jam and amazingly, I came 22nd out of 300 and something, which I was really damn pleased with. You know, I'm going to put that on my CV. Um, and uh, I've always got new ideas coming around my head. I'm always working on something. So hopefully I'll have some new content soon.